What's up guys, Xavier Elon here. Today we're going over longest substring without repeating characters. Um, something new, it, also I got my iPad to be able to mirror onto my computer so I'll be able to like show you guys, I don't know if I can zoom in, I guess not. Um, I'll be able to draw stuff out now from now on. So um, the description reads, given a string, find the length of the longest substring without repeating characters. Um, so, we have here A, B, C, A, B, C, B, B, and the longest is going to be A, B, C. Um, here it's just going to be B, obviously. And then you have P, W, W, K, E, W. So, and the longest is going to be W, K, E because there's no repeating character in the substring. It has to be in a row as well. Um, so, the way this is a new concept to me, I've never seen this before. The way I solved it is I used a sliding window I think it's called um, so basically you keep track of the um, basically sliding as you're counting the characters in, in a substring you're sliding the window and then you have to when you find a duplicate you have to adjust the beginning as well and, and remove that character up so I'm gonna show you guys real quick how I did that on my iPad I'm sorry I can't make this any bigger I don't think so um, <clears throat> the longest in this substring is going to be B, C, A, D, E. So we're going to start here. We're going to have a start and an end. So um, <clears throat> and we're going to loop through. So while end is less than the length, that's that's what we're going through. And um, we're going to increment as we add the characters to our, we're using to use a hash set because we're going to check to see if it contains the character is already in the hash set. So if it doesn't, if that character is not in the hash set, we're going to increment end. And this is going to be the total substring now. And then we're going to C is also not in it. So we increment it. And now <clears throat> the total substring is here. So, and then we get to we move to um, A, and A is a duplicate. So we um, increment start this time. We move it up one. We're, that's the window. We're sliding. Um, <clears throat> and we also have to move end up to here. So that's our window right now is BCA right here. And we do that all the way through. The only time we have to move start is when we have a duplicate. So start's not going to move again, and at the end we're going to return, I believe it's end minus start plus one, because end is going to be, it's going to end right here, so it's going to be five, it's the fifth index, and start's going to be here at the end, and it's going to be one. So five minus one equals four, plus one equals five, and we have five characters. Uh, it's B C A D E. So that's what we're going to return right there. And now I'm just going to code it out, show you guys how to code it. Um, so, first thing is the set. We're going to create a set of characters. I'm going to call it scene to hash set. Cool. And then um, <clears throat> we're going to have. So let's create our variables. This is gonna where we're gonna store the longest substring. I'll just put longest substring. And then I named my variables window end. Or should window start first. And window end. And I think that's all yeah, so while window end, like I said, while window end is less than s dot length and make sure you use your um, parentheses for this function it's because uh, it's a string function um, so then let's let's grab we have to grab the character first so car c equals s dot car at uh, window end and so we're gonna have our first if statement so we're gonna see if we're gonna check to see if the character is not contained, contains, oh no, it's scene dot contains. Uh, see, 
I think. Let me make sure. No. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I don't know why I was doubting myself. And then we're going to so if it does if it doesn't contain it, we're going to scene dot add C. And then we can calculate our sum, so which is the uh, what I said earlier, win window end minus window start plus one and so we're going to have our longest substring, and we're going to use the max uh, math.max function. Math.max. And it's just going to be longest substring and sum. Move over. And then because we, so now we have to move the window. We're going to move the end of the window because we're, um, it didn't contain the character. So if it did contain the character, we would pop it off and move the beginning of the window because you don't want to clear the whole hash set. That's how I, what I was thinking at first and I was doing it completely wrong I, and I, it took me a while to figure it out. Because if you remove the whole hash set, then you, you know, you're starting fresh, but you're not supposed to start fresh because we're checking for the whole, um, we're checking for the whole substring um, you don't want to remove all the characters. Just you just move in the window one at a time, and so window and plus plus. Also, the only other case is it does contain C, and in that case we're doing. Uh, um, scene dot. Uh, remove s dot car at window start. And oh, and then we just have to uh, increment the start as well because we're removing it off, and we want to move the start to the next character, which would be in our test case, it's going to be B the first time around. Well, the only time around actually. And that's it. We just have to return longest substring, and that should work. Um, Run it. Math. Oh, I got it backwards. My bad, guys. All right, and then let's just submit it. It should work. See, look at all these wrong answers I got. <laughs> So there we have it. Um, it's just we're looping through. So it's O of n runtime and O of n space complexity because we're just using, we're storing everything in a set. Um, so thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.